What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You're probably wondering, why is the camera up so high? Because it's on top of the refrigerator, and they say that the camera being up above is slimming. It makes you look slimmer. Because I've got the shirt, it's all sweat, sweated out, stretched out, and everything else. And then my body's all stretched out and everything else as well. And I wanted you to get more of a panoramic view of what I've been working on and why I haven't been keeping up with the Dallas Cowboys as hard as I should. Because I've been busy. This, if you remember, you guys remember Michael Anthony Fitness Reaction Gig Economy Electrician Extraordinaire and da 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 Remember when he fell through the floor? Guys, that was over here. Right here. Bam. Ain't nobody falling through the floors at this house. And I'm just so proud of, look, I got to stop. Check this out. Keep watching. Keep watching. I'm just proud of this, okay? Forgive me. Look at that. You see it's turning red? That means it's hot. Hot like this news I'm about to give you. All right, so DeAndre Hopkins was at the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee, yeah, that's right. The Tennessee Titans had his visit to say, hello, how are you? And allegedly, the Tennessee Titans offered him a contract. Now, you can say he turned down the contract. Yeah, well, offering a contract and offering the good contract are two different things. Generally speaking, most people, when they offer you a contract, they're going to try and lowball you. You know, so they can say El Paso. Um, so we don't know what the offer was that the Tennessee Titans made. So he went on to New England, where he looked like he had a lot of fun. He looked like, you know, everybody's talking, oh, hugs and, you know, hugs and smiles. He's in the locker room. He's having a ball and everything else. And he left. He left without a contract. But New England said they're going to do, they're going to try and sign him. They're going to try and get him. They want to try and have him. Now, wanting to have him and getting him are two different things because all of these things come down to one thing. What people do for money. That's right. It's what they do for money and how much money will they come off with. Because Hopkins, unfortunately, this is what Des Bryant found out the hard way because the Cowboys held on to him for so long that when he was finally released, everybody had already spent all their big money. The teams, of course, are already, you know, doing their OTAs and all the works. They're planning in the season. And they're not looking to bust the bank to bring somebody else in for a whole lot of money. There's just not a whole lot of money out there for them. So herein lies the problem for DeAndre Hopkins. Now, I think, I think I saw something. I mean, this is on Twitter, so you don't know what to believe when you see it on the Twitter. See, I, I, I'm enjoying walking around. I, I just love this. I, 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 I'm just envisioning myself here cooking some food and people sitting on the other side. It's, it's not finished. It's got another six inches. You know, and six inches is important. Six inches is definitely important. So we're going to put that six inches. We're going to have chairs underneath there and stuff and all that. But I can picture myself you know, doing some shrimp tacos and everything else, and serving up the shrimp tacos and everything else right at the table. But anyway, I'm just, just trying to get a feel for, is there enough space here to walk, around, to stroll around the kitchen? And come on over here to the sink when I get the sink out of it. Anyway, I digress. So DeAndre Hopkins, I thought I saw on Twitter, might be visiting the Buffalo Bills. Now, we know the Buffalo Bills, again, were interested because they, as well as um, Kansas City, Kansas City, oh, man, Kansas City, some of that barbecue. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I, didn't, I haven't had dinner. It's 10 o'clock at night, and I haven't had dinner, so everything sounds good. My old shoes sound good right now because I'm kind of hungry right now. Um, Kansas City and Buffalo both reached out to them when they knew that the Cardinals were trying to trade him. And they probably made a lowball offer and said, we'll take him off your hands as long as you take majority of his contract salary. Now, we do know he is looking for like $15 million. But here's what I'll say. 
You had Des Bryant today saying the Cowboys should try and get or should trade for Derrick Henry. Dalvin Cook's out there. Now, I could have missed it while I've been working on these cabinets and things and all that and uh, doing my rant and stuff. But as far as I know, I don't see any teams right now jumping uh, through hoops to get Dalvin Cook. And Dalvin Cook is a really good running back. And here's what we find out. There's always this big hype about a player that's leaving a team. Oh, my God, the Cowboys should go. And we always hear the Cowboys got to go get. We all, and we don't go get nobody. That, that's what's funny is the Cowboys are linked to this. We're not. Why are we linked? Why are we linked? Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. The Cowboys free agency are getting. They don't do that. It's not Mike McCarthy's way either. They just don't. So to say that the Cowboys should go get, like as Bryant said, you know, trade for Derrick Henry, or the Cowboys are linked to DeAndre Hopkins and you know uh, Odell Beckham. We don't do that. That's not how we do business. And quite frankly, some of the teams that do business that way, with the exception of the Eagles, I have to give credit where credit's due. With the exception of the Eagles. What you doing there, baby? Besides looking beautiful. You left the hole? It's a little, it, it's, it's time to stop. You're not bossy. You're just aggressively helpful. Aggressively helpful, it's time to stop. That's what the shirt says. Not bossy, aggressively helpful. Um, anyway, what guys are finding out Right now, especially this year, you don't know if it's collusion going on or what. But the NFL, this year, that money is tight. It's few and far between finding any of that cash for anybody. So, it is what it is. Um, I feel good, man. I feel good. Been in here for 13 and a half hours working on this place. And every day it changes. This morning... That that door jam was not painted. This morning, that cabinet was not set. There was a light in the ceiling. That light's been moved uh, because it's uh, behind the cabinet. And now we got a working microwave, a working stove. We got the cabinets put in here. Whew. Oh man! And I, I, I forgot. Look, uh, Mike's been hooking up stuff, electrical stuff, and everything else. We got a ceiling fan upstairs too. I got to check out in my bedroom. So that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to go figure out what I'm going to eat. And we're going to lock this place up. And we're going to be back at it tomorrow to see how much else can change. I'm Mark Holmes. Uh-oh. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. Jam Gina's just sharing. Uh-oh. Gina. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I've got a tablet over here. Hold up. This might be something big. Break it. Hold up. Wait a minute. If I can turn it on. Ray Lewis Jr. Um, Ray Lewis III dies at age 28. Larry Brown Sports. Ray Lewis III, the son of Hall of Fame linebacker Ray Lewis, has died at the age of 28. Rashawn Lewis, who is Ray's little younger brother, posted a note on Instagram story Thursday paying tribute to his brother. And he looks just like Ray. Don't know. A true angel, I pray at peace now because I know how much you really are hurting. This is Larry Brown. Who's this? Wow. Like I always say, y'all, tell the people you love you love them. You might not get the chance again, and I love you guys. Man, rest in peace, Ray Lewis the third, Ray Lewis's brother. All right, good people. I'll see you tomorrow. God willing. Peace.